I started telling people I was going to make a film on soil and my next film's on soil and yes, that's what I'm going to do. And then I actually started reading soil textbooks and studying soil talking to soil scientists and then I thought, what am I doing? You know, this is so complex. How am I ever going to make a film and, on soil? And also, just as a filmmaker, it was intriguing to me to, as a challenge to see if I could make a film about soil and, and how do you take something that looks like it's there's nothing going on and and have people realize that there's a, a, a tons of stuff going on or something that you treat like dirt, which actually is incredibly precious. A sort of poetic, artistic um, uh, vision of what is actually a very complex scientific um, study of this organism. So that intrigued me too, to make something that was sort of a mix of art and science. And that's something I like to do. I like to take a really big, complicated topic and, and distill it into a film that you can get all that information or as much of it, you know, you get the, at least the idea of it over to somebody who hasn't done any of that homework. The whole, one of the ideas of the film and also just, you know, people who are really looking at the soil and kind of from a, uh, in terms of uh, a, a big idea of soil is that we're all part of the soil community and that we have a relationship with these soil organisms and even starting at the tiniest bacteria as I kind of saw this this analogy between soil community and not giving back not allowing that leaf to fall and break down uh, with our larger community and all these incredible conflicts that are happening in, in the states now and all over the place but people being aware of them you know it's not like it's a it's not a secret anymore. You know, these people are taking too much. They're taking much more than their fair share. And that, that I think, is it's a good thing, and we'll see how it pans out. But it's exactly what we're doing to the soil. I wanted to make a positive film because I think you have to be helpful. You know, it's really, plus, it's so easy to make a negative film. It's not a challenge at all. I mean, you could drop a cameraman from a plane any place on this planet, and they'd drop to the earth, and they could make a film about some terrible thing that's happening, literally. And there are a lot of those films out there, but um, I just don't think they're helpful. I think people need to be heartened, and I think they need to feel like there's hope of solving these problems. We have part of the film about, you know, yeah, there's a lot of bad things going on. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on that are, you know, the chemicals, the global warming, you know, da, 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 all this stuff. But we can, but the soil, you know, the, treating it right, you know, we can help solve a lot of those problems. So I think it's it's very positive. And also, you know, there's a lot of these films out now, these compendium of crises films, you know, where you have like one thing after the other, you know, and it's sort of like, we kind of know that now. So the real interesting challenge as a filmmaker is how do you move beyond that and, and encourage people, you know, to engage, you know, that, that's a more interesting problem for me as a filmmaker, other than, you know, how can I bum people out and make them feel really bad and lose a night's sleep? Well, you know, hey, read the paper, You'll, you're there. So I think it is a positive film because there's a lot of beauty in it, and I think beauty in itself is something that helps feed people's, you know, spirit, and also there's a lot of truth in it, like this is how things work, and it's a, it, it's a, it's a challenge, you know, this idea that you give people information that's complex, but you explain it in a way that makes it really clear so they get it. So there's some stuff in the film that's positive on a very practical level, and then it also the positive idea that, you know, this is a meetable challenge. It's a challenge, and it's a serious challenge, but we can meet this challenge because the soil, the soil will meet us halfway. You know, if you just give back and, and and let it live, you know, if you let it live, then it, it will sustain us. And that's, that's in itself pretty positive, you know, like if you treat something right, they'll treat you right back. It's not going to slap you in the face and say, yeah, thank you so much for feeding me. Here, have a carrot, you know. Well, I would like viewers to take away from the film a sense of being heartened. Do you know what I mean? Like feeling like they've you know, they've sort of fortified themselves with information and knowledge and understanding, you know, to help, you know, help them go out into the world, into their world, and, and make choices that are positive. You know, just this simple idea of, like in America, lawns are like the big, you know, like, let's not use lawn chemicals.
okay? You know, let's not do that anymore. Or let's, you know, I mean the obvious things, you know, choose a local farmer to for your food and don't just get it from God knows where, you know. And also, I think, um, I think an appreciation that we come from the soil and then we go back to the soil and it, it, we're, we are part of the soil and it's part of us. This whole thing of culture and civilization has come from the soil, you know, and just appreciating that, you know, helping a, people to appreciate that, it, it's sort of an antidote to cynicism and skepticism and powerlessness and negativity, you know, you sort of say, wow, I'm here because of the miracle of soil. Hmm, that's amazing. Well, maybe I'll, you know, maybe I'll plant a garden or, you know, volunteer to help teach young mothers to cook, you know, or, and becomes more pragmatic. And so that, you know, that's, that's what I, I would like.